Last night during the period of darkness, we did a joint forcible entry onto a DZ roughly about 20 kilometers south of here. As the tactical scenario builds, we're expanding the lodgement. And what we did is we air assaulted in two of our uh, M777-155 howitzers and one of our 105 howitzers into a northern uh, Papa Alpha, which is a primary artillery area. And we're providing fires for the rest of the infill of the brigade. I run the fire direction center. Uh, our job is to receive a uh, call for fire from maneuver elements or forward observers. Uh, we take those calls for fire. We create or we analyze that and create firing data. We send that here to the, the firing crew. Uh, they use that firing data to aim this howitzer and, and deliver rounds on target. Uh, I'm the target acquisition platoon sergeant. Uh, currently we have one ATPQ-50 radar, which is a light counter, counter motor radar system. And I'm overseeing all the operations that go between this and our counter force. Uh, currently the radar operators are setting up the LCMR to uh, conduct counter fire missions. If need any hostile rounds, get into the area. Being able to conduct a heavy drop and air assault with the Q-50 radar on the same day has been a big opportunity for myself and my soldiers. Uh, it's a big learning experience, not only for myself, but the battalion as a whole. We've had a great time, great airborne operation, uh, great air assault mission. Uh, it's, it's great to be out here with partner forces. We had the, uh, uh, the British paramilitary out here with us as well. Uh, so it's been a great training event to come out here and, like I said, work with NATO allies and be able to conduct realistic training here in, uh, in uh, Europe.